my channel if you're brand new to my channel my name is Elizabeth my channel name is Shy Town Girl and my sidekick Miss Kalulu literally just jumped up the moment that I said good evening and welcome to my channel I swear she's got radar going on me so I'm sure she'll be blasting through this video at some point hopefully everyone is doing well it is chilly here on the East Coast this evening but I have a brand new Dollar Tree haul to share with all of you and I am going to just jump right in. Okay, I've seen a few people haul these but I hadn't seen them in my area and they finally came along, at least these ones did. These are the Rubbermaid One Bolt, really? <laughs> okay, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Um, it's the Rubbermaid Take Along Meal Prep Container. This is one bowl and it holds five cups. Ideal for salad, soups, and sides. Now my question is, are these microwavable? Let me just double check here. Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure. I will keep looking because I'm not seeing anything right now that says they are or they're not. But I'll look a little bit more on my end. I don't want to waste too much camera time. So I ended up picking up um, two of these because I think this is like a perfect size for a salad. Um, here it is. Pop off your lid. I think that's just a lovely, nice, deep for like a pasta salad or any kind of for anything, fruit or whatever you'd like to put in there. But I believe there's also like an oblong shape and I haven't found that shape yet. I did find one more of these Valentine's containers. I still had some more Chex Mix left and I needed another one and my Dollar Tree was out. But then I went today and sure enough, they had like a bunch more. So I think they were just pulling stuff from the back to get rid of it because Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and believe it or not, I saw 4th of July in the back. I'm like, oi. But I was very happy to find another one of these. These lids do pop on nicely and secure. I was very pleased, and my um, crunch mix looks lovely in them. <laughs> um, if you didn't check out that video, check it out. That is some yummy stuff. So Miss Kalua just put this in my basket, so I guess I'm supposed to show this. This is a toy that was purchased by Auntie Linda for Kahlua, and um, it's missing a few parts, a hat, and I think it's missing, uh, yeah, part of its nose. Kahlua Lou. All righty. <laughs> I always get the Mott's juice when I see it. You cannot beat 32 fluid ounces, brand name for $1. I always keep a couple of these in the refrigerator. The expiration date on these... Is there even one on here? I'm sure there is, but I could probably guarantee it's not for quite a while yet. I don't know. Um, okay, I'm shooting zero at this point. Let's just keep on moving. I have at the moment a Apple iPhone 8 Plus, and I have a hard time finding 8 Plus covers without spending a fortune because I'm just not going to do it. So I found this one by eCircuit. It says it fits the iPhone 7 Plus and the 8 Plus. And I think you can see right there, bada bing, bada boom. Look, check that out. I thought it'd be kind of fun and different. Um, so obviously, you know, you can look at it and it's a mirror. Who would have thought? All right, moving on. I came across these and I don't know if it's me you guys will have to let me know what you think now when <laughs> I'm just gonna show them to you because even the cashier said to me how in the heck could these possibly be women's socks I said I don't know maybe they're mislabeled but anyways these are women's fashion socks the size five through nine and here's the package and then here's the sock so they look so, let me just open a pair up. 
I probably shouldn't open them this way. I'm going to put a hole in the sock. Um, but don't mind me. Kids don't do this at home or adults because you'll probably put a hole in your socky. But I don't know. They're saying that this is a women's sock. But look, it's got little ears. <laughs> First I thought, are these like socks for people that may only have two toes? I mean, I'm not making fun, but I wasn't sure what to think at first. And I'm like, okay, well, it's got to be ears, like little ears. So I found <clears throat> this one that appears to me, I'm not sure. You tell me. What do you think that is? Then... The same thing, but this one's like in a llama. And look, now this one has, I, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think. I'm assuming those are the ears. I also found this little moo cow. Look at the moo cow. That's a moo cow. Because regular cows go, Marr. I'm pretty good at that, aren't I? And little baby cows go, Marr. That's just the way it's always been my whole life and we're not going any further. Okay, so look at these little moo cows and they got little, you know, the, are these udders or ears? <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> okay, and the last and final pair I found were, I know what these are. These are unicornies and they have rainbows. And then, again, they have these little, I don't, I'm not, <laughs> they're adorable. I thought they were brand new, were, you know, I was gonna share. In the Easter section, which has become like everywhere now, this is an eight piece felt bunny garland with pom-poms. So it's little bunnies in all these beautiful pastel colors. And then look at their little tails. I will be more than happy to open this up and hang it up on the wall. If you're interested in seeing what it looks like, just let me know down below and I will share with you. There's really no rhyme or reason to this, I'm just pulling it out of my basket as I go, okay? So I'm gonna be bouncing all over the place. They have the Oreo mini snack sacks. These are the full size eight ounce bags. These aren't the little bitty ones. These are the eight ounce bags. They have an expiration date of, here we go again, right? <clears throat> I'm only gonna waste one moment. Oh, here that is. Um, June of 2020. So that's probably why they're at Dollar Tree. So I did grab three because the little mini Oreos are just as good as the big ones. Besides, I found something that I have never seen before. So they have Oreo and then they have all the flavors just like Coke and Pepsi and Skittles. I'm not going there. So the regular Oreos were always the regular Oreo, the double stuffed Oreo. Okay, we're talking cream here. This is the Oreo Mosta. Look at that. It's got to be gargantuan. It's got to be absolutely gargantuan. So I thought this was kind of cool. Great idea. Easter basket. Pop it in there. If you're making some kind of a display for somebody, like I did for Grandpa for Valentine's Day, I can't wait to give it to him. For those of you that haven't seen it... This is what I put together with all Dollar Tree things for Grandpa. It is full to the rim. I cannot wait to give that to Grandpa in just a couple of days. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, I also came across some new face masks. And one of them I think is so funky that I cannot wait to try it on and share with all of you. Okay, let me rip away here. All right, this first one. Infused with collagen, it is a charcoal bubble face mask treatment. Not sure what it means by the bubble face, but that is what it looks like. So I'm really looking forward to doing a review on this. I then found this one that's new to Yes, which is a product I've seen before, but this... <laughs> I'm sorry, I want to laugh, but I... This is a lip pucker kit. So, evidently, if your lips look like this, they're going to look like this. So, I'm interested to see <laughs> exactly how this works. Um, I'm laughing because it just amazes me how sometimes people make stuff and people buy it like me. And, I don't know, I just laugh sometimes. Okay, the next one I found is... Brightening Bubble Clay Mask by Bio Miracle. This is a 0.35 ounce treatment. 
Um, <clears throat> that's what that one looks like. You know, if you have a friend that likes to go like to the spa and stuff like that, you can get some of these that are so pretty right now and fill an Easter basket with them. That would be awesome. And a little bath sponge. These are new now. I've never seen these before. This is by Stardust, and it says, With Glitter, Soothing Peel-Off Mask, and it is Green Glitter. Hubba hubba. Now, you guys know I screamed when I found this one, because you know what color this is. You have to know, and I've never seen anything like it in my life. It's purple. It's a purple face mask. Oh, yeah, definitely doing a review on this one. I've never seen them before, so I don't know how well they work, but I'm definitely willing to give them a try. Okay, let me, I'm actually going to dump my basket out here real quick because I think I can probably get to things a little bit easier. So I kind of stay in the same theme a little bit, but I, I still don't think that's going to happen because I have stuff scattered. I did pick up one more of these candles that has all the donuts all over it. I wasn't going to pass it up if you haven't seen these they are adorable and i did mention in my last video that i showed these once the candle's done or if you don't want to use the wax you just put this in your freezer for 10 15 minutes turn it over the wax will plop right out use it in your bathroom use it anywhere you could actually hot punch a couple holes through the top of here if you wanted to keep the lid on put potpourri in there put uh anything you could use it for jewelry you could do so many things and these are whoops these are so flying off the shelves this was the only one they had with donuts so i grabbed it immediately okay i found some new toys i love toys okay so oh my gosh you guys are gonna think i'm just a big kid and i really am okay so this is a repeat i did score some more I did score some more of the Fingerlings, Fingerlings Minis. Uh, this is Series 3. I did open some of these packages. Um, I'll put a link in my uh, video here regarding some of the packages that I opened. So I do have a bunch more um, new blind bags. So if you want to see another blind bag opening, I would be more than happy to do a video for you. So I was able to get some more of the Fingerlings. I then found, and I've never, ever seen these before, I found Disney Pixar's Toy Story 4. I was like, what? Get out of here. So I did grab a few of those. The box was like almost wiped out. I stuck my hand in and it was like whatever I could get is what I got. So one, two, three, four five, six, seven. Oh, eight. Okay, that works. So I got eight of those. I then, oh, actually I lied, nine. Um, that was it for blind bags. But then I found, hold on, hold on. Let me organize, let me organize. I have so many, oh my gosh, I don't even know what group goes with. Bear with me. I believe this would be under the Finding Nemo category, if I am correct. I hope. If not, then you guys can... Okay, now I feel bad because I'm not even paying attention to all of you. All right, maybe there was only three. I thought there was four, so my bad. But isn't... Yes, Nemo. Finding Nemo. So we have Nemo. Look at that character. Oh, this is perfect for Easter basket time. All right, this, well, from top to bottom, two inches at its widest part. It's like two inches. So we have Nemo. We have Squirt, which is the little turtle. And then we have Dory. Isn't that adorable? Then I found... Uh, Okay. I'm sorry. I have so many new toys. I want to keep all the toys at least kind of organized. These are the Incredibles. This is Elast Elastigirl. So I found her. And these are fairly decent in size as well. They stand, wow, almost three inches. So there's that one. 
I found Violet. And then I found Mr. Incredible. So that was kind of cool. Then I found, I was like such a pig in the toy aisle. I really was a total pig. These are Disney Pixar monsters. I found Ran, uh, Randall. And these are not small. They're, these are not little itty bitty thingies. This one, three inches. So there's Randall. And then I found Boo. Now these are in plastic, so unfortunately you are getting a glare. I then found Mike. I found Roz. Ooh, that looks like me in the morning before my coffee. Don't mess with me. And I found Scully. Super exciting. And now let's switch to Disney. I love Disney. I love all Disney stuff. Okay, I came across, and I'm just going to put these up as I go because I have just a pile. These are the new Disney Junior Mickey, Donald, Minnie Mouse, and these, mm, these are like two and a half inches, not quite three inches, more like two and three quarters. So we have Donald and we have Minnie Mouse and look at her all in purple. Is she got it going on? So they have met, um, so I got myself actually a couple purple. They also had her in green. There she is in green. And she's got her hands posed differently. There she is in purple. And I thought, oh, yep, there, here she is in light pink. If you can see, there they are. And were there any other of her? Oh, yes. And then there was this one of her, which she's in blue and pink. Aren't those precious? They also had... This little bird called Kuka, is it Kuku Loka? This little birdie. So I got every single one that was in the set on the back. And I also found Mickey in this version because, you know, they all, here is the first Mickey I showed you. Let's see. I showed you a Mickey, right? Didn't I show you a Mickey? I thought I showed you a Mickey. Okay, I must be losing my brain. I must be losing my brain. Okay, so then, last but not least, my favorite, Pluto. You hardly ever, ever see any Pluto items. So, yes, I didn't get one. I got two. All right, everybody, I did it. I did it. I made it through the entire Dollar Tree haul. Holy crap, I did it. All right, I need to go do some cooking because I have not had a thing all day and I'm not feeling that great, but I was, I was doing this no matter what and I did it. So I'm so pleased. Hopefully you all stuck around for it. Let me know what you thought. Hopefully I found some new cool things that you might put on your wish list. Let me know down below any questions, comments, concerns, moans, groans, bitches, what? ever let me know down below until next time everyone have a wonderful evening bye bye for now